welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Brian Stevens and today we are going to go over a beginner's view of Dispatch. Dispatch is an add-in provided by SolidWorks for the SolidWorks PDM Professional solution and the main objective of this add-in is to let you automate tasks and processes from the PDM vault. So in these six minutes we will go over the process of how Dispatch is initialized and I will show you an example. Now the dispatch add-in is located underneath your vault and in the add-in section after you've logged into the vault from the PDM administration tool. From here we want to right click on the add-in and go to administrate actions. This will bring up all of our dispatch actions. Another way to grab this window is to go from the vault view and click tools and administrate actions. This will bring us to that same menu so we can get to it from the administration tool and from the vault view. Now let's go ahead and create our first dispatch action by clicking add. This will bring up the edit action window. Now this is our dispatch action. I'll go ahead and give it a dispatch name for action name. And I'll also add a description to it as well. Next, under activation, I'm going to go ahead and click menu command because I want this to be a menu command for when I right click on my selected files. And in here I'm going to put in dispatch backslash update description. So when I right click on the file, I'll select dispatch. That backslash translates to a flyout where I'll select update description. This bottom section here, our command section, is where we add all of our dispatch actions and all of these actions will be run in sequential order. Now the first thing that happens, our variables are initialized. So I'll go ahead and click the variables button to bring up the set variables window. From here I can add and remove variables here by clicking add or selecting the variable and clicking remove to remove those variables. Now when creating variables, we have to give the variable a type. Now there are 20 different types of dispatch variables, but in this example we go over three, and these three are the most commonly used variables. And these are runtime variables, static strings, and get data from files data card. Runtime variables are variables used when dispatch script is running. So anything that requires a user input requires a runtime variable, things like edit box and combo boxes. Static strings can be any text value. I can specify that text value or also run string functions or add subtract. And I can grab a couple of different system related information like name of the file and path of the folder. The last variable type is variable value from selected files data card. This is just where I can grab the metadata from the selected file. I'm going to go ahead and clear my variables as I like to create them as I'm creating my dispatch action. So from here I'm going to click the add button, click the fly down menu and click edit box. This edit box is going to prompt the user to enter description. And this is a variable that I get at runtime, so I need a runtime variable. I'll click the flyout menu, I'll click add, I'll change the type to runtime variable, and change the name to r underscore description, and click OK. And click OK again. Now that my edit box is done, let's create the rest of the script. I'll click add, click the fly down for all documents. OK. And we'll click add again and we'll end for all documents. And notice under the content I have a block start and a block end. All my selected files will run actions in between these blocks. Now I'm purposely going to select for all documents and then click add. Get my fly down and select set card variables. In here I'm going to keep most of these settings the same. I want to run it on all files and folders. Change my destination card variable to description. Leave configurations blank for all configurations. This last section is the value of the variable. I'll click this flyout, find user defined variables, and find my r underscore description. That r underscore description from the edit box. 
So I'm gonna show the user in edit box, and then for all selected files, I'm gonna update that variable with whatever I entered in that edit box. I'll click OK, and OK again to save my changes. Now let's run this dispatch action. I'll navigate into my folder where I have eight files set up for this example. I'll just select them real quick to show you that none of them have anything under the description field. I'll select all my files, right click, find dispatch, update description. There's my edit box to enter a description and here I'm just going to put in dispatch updated variable. Click OK. Now all the descriptions on all my selected files have been updated. Using dispatch can greatly reduce the time needed for repetitive tasks and processes. More advanced uses of dispatch can run automated actions on state changes, file checkouts, and adding files to the vault. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We hope you are able to join us for next week's session. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.